the box. It is a present of Kodomi one person for you. Yes, sir. Uh, last week, serious allegations were delivered against His Excellency President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Nake in the That he is behind the abduction of the family. family. Also, that the allegation, according to her, he mentioned other senior government officials who include also Solicitor General Marshall Raji. Mr. President, the question that I have for you is when you look at the rule of law and these allegations that are hovering around the state house. How safe? First of all, before I answer the question, let's look at what motivated her speech. What motivated Rachel Chileshe Katolo to go public? She explained that one, she's a woman, two, she's a mother, three, she knew that our sister, the president of FDD, Madam Edith Nawakwe, is ailing, but the police moved in. That is what compelled her to speak. And I want to commend Rachel for speaking out. The reason is many of us here know a lot of things which are bad. We tend to keep quiet. When you know that an injustice is being occasioned to someone else, that is the wrong attitude to have, fellow Zambians. When I was in the alliance, I asked Haga in the about this issue. I told him that these things hovering around you. And there was also an issue of some land where he is alleged to have bought some farms. He told me he was nowhere near this issue. He lied. Second, over the land issue, he told me that he bought this land way before this and way before that. And as far as he's concerned, all the things that he did were legit. I am not sure about that because he never showed me the contracts for me to read the dates. But he told me verbally. But coming to Faluna and Hadem, if what Rachel said is true and because she's willing to testify in court then that is a very damaging damaging position that the president finds himself in and the people mentioned the minister for southern province Mwetwa, the current solicitor general Mujende, Mr. Sejani, and all the people that were involved, it's damaging. If you heard me, I said, it is time for my good friend to start considering resigning. Because if things like this begin to appear, and there are people who are willing to testify against you and what you're doing by using law enforcement. Yet, it is you who's behind and perpetuating, or who perpetuated that crime. You're not fit to hold office. You're not fit to hold office. I listened to what Rachel Chileshe said three times. I played, I replayed, and I played again. And I said to myself, I am hoping I'll be proved wrong. But it is the fact that she, at the end of what she was saying, she said, President, you have my number. I am challenging you. If you want, you can phone me. She was daring him. Have you heard any response from Aga in the HLM? That he called Rachel. 
that speaks volumes when a woman dares you it's like a blind man telling you she knows she has the facts and she was saying i was there she's an eyewitness she saw she heard in court i'm a lawyer forgive me there are two things that crucify you one your own admission if you confess to a crime yes i did this the, the court doesn't need any more evidence you've confessed but the second best evidence is an eyewitness i saw him do this how do you come back from that i heard him say this and then he went to do this how do you come back from that so George, the simple answer is, this is very damaging. And if I were Aga in the Ichilem, I should be firing the Minister of Southern Province. I should be firing the Solicitor General. Because Section 21 of the Penal Code has not changed from the last time I studied law when I was a student. They are accomplices to a crime, these. You can be an accomplice before or after the fact of a crime. If this happened and she's able to name them, they are accomplices. At law, they're just as culpable as the principal offender. That's the law. I didn't write the law. But you're asking me to talk as a lawyer. And I'm telling you, if what Rachel Chilesha said is true, we have a guilty president sitting in state house and Haga in the Ichilema must own up. That means there was no abduction by that sick woman called Edith Nawak. None whatsoever. But what else is out of this case, just like the other case I talked about, the so-called compensation for treason. Out of this case, people have been paid half a million kwacha each for what the term does force imprisonment, lawfare. George, we are using government resources, taxpayers' money, to steal because we sign consent judgments to pay people who are part of a crime. This is the kind of government we are looking at. We must be very careful as Zambians. Very, very careful as Zambians. I hope I've answered your question.